This video is sponsored by Sweet Life CBD. Sweet Life's premium CBD products are trusted by riders like Freddie Noren and Benny Bloss. Try some yourself by visiting GetSweetLife.com. Use code TMN or click the link in the description to get 20% off site-wide. Today, Milestone Games dropped the trailer for the new rendition of the Monster Energy Supercross series, and that is, of course, Supercross 6. Milestone Games is a relatively new player in the motocross video game industry, making games like MXGP and Supercross over the past 8 years or so. Their main competitor, MX vs. ATV, made by THQ Nordic and Rainbow, has been making games for over double that time, which makes it impressive that they've made so many good games so quickly. Alright, let's dive into all the changes we know of thus far from Supercross 5 to Supercross 6. The main change they've showcased is the all-new training feature. In previous games, they've tried to implement this, but it was always kind of janky. In Supercross 6, they've seemed to have an all-new training program, where you'll be training, learning, and unlocking new skills with your coach, Jeremy McGrath. Although the details of this new training feature is null, it's pretty cool that they have implemented a real trainer. They have kept the same career path that's in Supercross 5, that being where you start in the Futures class and work your way up from there. Milestone also includes a brand new compound or playground as they always do, but this one looks pretty cool. They are calling it the Supercross Park, and it looks to have four tracks. One Supercross track in a quarry, one in the stadium, one at an airport, and a motocross track that looks to wrap around a mountain or cliff. The final big change is the rhythm attack mode. This mode looks to be a straight rhythm of sorts that you can do either single player or new split screen feature. Other than this, they claim to have added more customization stuff like gear, parts, stickers, and other things such as that, as they always do. Plus, they have added cross-platform for racing and the track editor. Honestly, I think this is the most changes I've seen in a new milestone game for a while. I'm really looking forward to this Supercross 6. The game is available for pre-order now on all systems and is set to release March 9th, 2023. What are you guys' thoughts on the new Supercross game? I know a lot of people think they get repetitive. Is a change in 6 enough for you to buy it? Let us know what you think in the comments.